Let us pray to the creators, Lethaline. All Father, may... We forgive our part in this tragedy. Would our sons and daughters... Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. They are the noble beasts that pull our Aravel, what humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. I have seen your horses. The relationship is different, as is the purpose. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. And? What do you think? I'm glad you attempted it, regardless. No. No, I'm sorry. She isn't calming any more around you than she is for me. I know. It was kind of you to try. I will watch her for a while longer and see if her condition changes. I am grateful for your assistance, friend.
I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. What do you wish of me? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. What do you wish of me? If you must. <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? You mean, is she truly the Flemeth of legend and story? Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chastened still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience. Ah, I see. That does explain much. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful, a fair lass in a land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. Many centuries before this land was even named Ferelden, the tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard, and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that t'was Osin who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous Lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osin and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife, and Osin agreed. The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. That was not the point. Conobar had no honor, so she would not have him. Flemeth begged the spirits to aid her, and twas they who slew Conobar. The demon the legend tells of came later. <laughs> 